Honorable Bowman Lusambo, Member of Parliament for Kabushi Constituency, joining us from home virtually. Good evening and welcome to tonight's edition of Diamond Live. Uh, good evening, uh, uh, Andrew, and uh, good evening, uh, viewers out there. Honorable, let's begin off with what happened in Parliament earlier today. Now, what we know is that you were supposed to ask a question, which unfortunately you are very unsuccessful because the Speaker of the House, the presiding officer, Madam Nelly, uh, you know, Miti, had to let you sit down. You were angry and you walked out of the house. Don't you understand the rules of the house? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Andrew and uh, Chess uh, there and uh, viewers out there. Uh, first and foremost, um, Andrew, uh, I'm a member of parliament uh, for Kabushi uh, constituency. Uh, the people of Kabushi constituency uh, voted for me to come and represent them in the house. And that house is a very democratic house. And uh, I'm a free uh, member of parliament who can move from one point to another at any particular uh, point. Uh, coming to uh, to your question, uh, uh, Andrew, and uh, the chest to and viewers out there, I've been in the house for uh, the, the past five uh, years, and uh, the people of Kawushi gave me another mandate uh, to preside over their affairs uh, for, the, uh, for the next five years. I know the rules of the house, and I've been there long before others came in. So I know each and every rule of the, uh, of the house. What? I start um, uh, the standing orders of parliament, and I do understand each and every standing order, including how to engage with the presiding officer. I'm a very senior member of parliament. Uh, remember, uh, Chesu and uh, Andrew and viewers out there. Mm. But, but then, I'm I, just I, a past. Yeah, Honorable, are you trying to say that the the presiding officer is a speaker was out of order for him for her to chase you out of the house because you say that you are well a long serving member of the house who understands standing orders uh, so you think the the speaker was out of order for her to have chased you yeah that, uh, yes andrew uh, yes andrew and uh, andrew chess and viewers out there I'm not here to discuss uh, 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 the Honorable uh, Speaker um, uh, of the National Assembly. I'm just here uh, to let you know that uh, uh, I know the rules of the game. I've been in Parliament for some time now. I understand the rules of Parliament. It is difficult and different from the person who's coming in for the first time. Uh, for me, I do understand. I was an executive. When the people are an executive today, they were in opposition. And we know and we experienced how they behave under the able leadership of Honorable Speaker uh, Mativin. So for me, I can assure you and I can assure the nation that uh, I do know the rules of the game. I do understand. But uh, so in this context, who doesn't know? In but in this context, Honorable Bowman, Sambo, then who doesn't understand the standing orders of the House? Honorable Bowman, Sambo. I don't know. I don't know because I'm st I'm speaking on my behalf as a member. I'm speaking on my behalf as a member of Parliament for Kabushi constituents who has been in the house for uh, for some time. I am saying I do understand the rules of the game. I do understand the standing orders of the house. Honourable, let's, let's, so for me, let's... I can assure you that I wasn't even upset yeah. today. Mm. I wasn't. Uh, 
let's let's get to the real issues. I mean, you obviously wanted to ask something. Uh, you 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 raised quite a, 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 a number of issues uh, in the house. Could you categorically state what these issues were? I mean, during that time, uh, the vice president was 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 answering her questions. What are these questions uh, that you f feel were supposed to be answered by you know her honour, the vice president? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Andrew, and uh, cheers to our viewers out there. You know, there are some questions, well, direct questions which you can ask the owner, the vice president, when it's question time. And there are some questions which needs background, it needs foundation. And the question which I had today to ask our owner, the vice president, it was a question which had a, a background. His Excellency, the president of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Akainde Ichiben, he has been on many fora telling the people of Zambia that he will run a cost-saving government. And today, we have seen diplomats, high commissioners, and other staffs that have been recalled from all over the world. We have seen uh, senior government officials, civil servants, who have been, uh, their contracts being terminated. And this government, very soon they'll be appointing new permanent secretaries, new ambassadors and high commissioners, and other diplomats. This is the same government which came in government saying they inherited empty coffers. So I wanted to know from the vice president, where are they getting the money today to recall all the diplomats and high commissioners across the world when they don't have the money? When the vice president came in the house, last time when the president was going to the United States of America, the vice president told that it was necessary for the president to attend the general conference because that's where I can get connections and make sure that uh, they bring development to our country. We wanted to know this afternoon if it was uh, an emergency, if it was necessary for the government which is running the cost-saving um, uh, measures to recall the diplomats uh, and ambassadors across the, country, across the world and also to terminate uh, contracts for senior civil servants. Some of the contracts they were running for three years, five years, and definitely the government is supposed to pay these civil servants. If they're not going to pay them, the government they will keep these civil servants on the payroll according to the law. So we wanted to know from the vice president where are they getting the money or where are they gotten the money now when they inherited empty coffers. That was my question, which was supposed to be my question to the Vice President this afternoon. Mm. Do you seriously think you are unfairly treated, Honorable Boman Nusambo? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a, uh, a democratic elected member of parliament for Kabushi constituency, and I am in the democratic country. And being in the democratic country, I'm in the democratic house we call parliament. I have the right to ask a question at any given time. I have a right to ask or honor the vice president a question. That's why we are in opposition, is to give checks and balances to the government of the day. We are very objective. We are not subjective. We know exactly what we want to see. Do you feel you are we unfairly treated, Honorable Bowman? Zambia develop. Do you feel that's what we want to see? Do you feel you are unfairly treated, Honorable Bowman? Uh, I'm I can't be a victim and a judge at the same time. I leave it to the people of Zambia to judge if I was fairly and fairly treated, or if. I was fairly treated. But were you for angry? me? I'm there to perform the noble call which the people of Kabushi they have sent me for in Kabushi in in, uh, in Pal But we, we, we would confirm 
to the to the people of Kawushi and the people of Zambia that indeed you are angry, isn't it? 